what can I say, Stefan, Erica, you guys asked me to get in a car. I wanted to make sure that I was able to do that. So someone was generous enough to let me inside of their 67 Cadillac DeVille. And I must say, this is my kind of car. You got some red leather. You got some... Uh, leopard print floor mats here. I like what I'm seeing and I also chose this car just because it was very unique. If you look at it, it's super low to the ground. Obviously nothing like what we drive today. I'm going to be very careful shutting the door. I frankly don't even want to touch the car just because it makes me very uncomfortable um, knowing the hard work that is put into these vehicles. But I'm going to talk real quick to um, the owner or actually it's your son's car, correct? Correct. Yes. And tell me a little bit about, this is a family affair. You and your son have several of these and you guys fix them up, right? We have seven cars all together. We have four Cadillacs and we have a 56, a 58, 61, and the 67 here. What is uh, so cool about fixing up these cars and why do you enjoy doing it with your family? Well, it's just something he and I started when he was a young man and he's got his daughter with him. and. She's 15 now and she's into it. She has her own little website, Grease Monkey Princess, and she does little stits on the internet. And uh, it's just a family thing that we do. She's the one who needs to be here. I want to talk to her, 15 year old who tinkers with old cars. Now that is pretty cool. And you guys have been coming here for what, 20 years? We've been here the last 20 years straight, yes. Mm -hmm. And this is a milestone 50 year anniversary for this event. And you said that yesterday seemed to be maybe the biggest turnout you've seen? Uh, it's the biggest Thursday I've ever seen here, mm -hmm. yes. So we're potentially anticipating one of the largest turnouts for this event. It's going all weekend at the Fair and Expo Center. Thank you again for letting me sit in your car and for chatting with us. The gates have already opened for the cars. Uh, the car owners are coming in now. We know that the gates were originally supposed to open around 7, but people were lined up down the street to go ahead and get in here so that they can get their spot because this is a obviously a big deal for them to be able to set up uh, where they want to set up and be around who they want to be around. But if you don't have anything to do this weekend, this is quite a sight to see. A pretty cool event here and uh, it happens goes until Sunday. Reporting live from the Fair and Expo Center for you this morning, Carrie Grace, WLKY News.